nobody up to the fort in a long time. Green place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind Miss Lane. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. All kinds of soldiers around back then. Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? Giddy up. Come on. Giddy up. Yeah. So it was the marshal who hired me. Leave Johnson. Do you know him? Times are changing fast, that's for sure. So who's this friend you're looking for? Nobody you need to concern yourself with. Never you mind all my questions, Mr. Marston. I just reckon you might be barking out of knot heading for the fort. Yeah. I tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Whoa there. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> Come for you, Bill Williamson. Come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you, think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor Jim.
Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. 